Straight all day. Straight all day. Now tuned in to the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there even when the success you've expected to achieve is late to the party. Where is it? And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative, which is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, especially yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And we put all this together into one bundle, one philosophy. We wrote a book on this subject. We made a whole system out of it. We have codified this entire process, how it all works. We made got a daily masterclass you listen to right now. We even got a university that you can enroll in right now. Open enrollment right now. It is all called Work On Your Game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. Today's topic, since it's Christmas, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Today's episode is 12 Gifts of Christmas for you to give yourself. These are 12 things that you must, you don't, actually you don't must, but you should. No, I'm not even going to say should. You know what? Let's just keep it at must. <laughs> you must give yourself these gifts this year for Christmas. Now, we got 12 specific gifts that are available to everyone. All right, this is not, these do not... There is no um, there's no barrier to entry for any of these gifts that I'm going to lay out. These are all things that are available within you as a human being. If you can understand the words that you are listening to right now, you do have the ability to utilize these gifts and to give these gifts to yourself. So without further ado, let's get right into it because we got 12 of these we got to get to. Point number one. Again, the topic is Christmas Day, episode 12 gifts to give yourself. Number one gift. Give yourself the gift of thankfulness. Thankfulness. What does that mean? I mean, what does it mean to you? means being grateful for what you have, whatever that may be, even if you feel like you don't have a lot, even if you've been browsing through social media all day and you see a whole bunch of other people who got a lot more than you. So now you're because of the comparison that you're doing in your mind. Now you feel like you don't have anything because it seems like everybody else has more than you, or at least if they want you to think that what they have is a lot more than what you have. Thankfulness, meaning being grateful for what you already got. I talk about this in my book, The Mental Workbook which you can get at workonmygame.com slash workbook, is that the more grateful you are for what you have, the more things you will have to be grateful for. And this is just the law of the universe, the law of reciprocity working in your favor. Whatever energy you are putting out is the energy that you get back. Whatever you would do is going to be done unto you. So if you feel like you don't have anything, then the universe is going to give you more reasons to feel like you don't have anything. If you feel like you have a lot and you're grateful for it, Universe will give you more reason to feel grateful. So the gift of thankfulness will help you a whole lot. Three things I'm sure you have right now, no matter who you are, where you're at in life, is that you have some type of device that can play this episode. You have access to some form of data, whether that's through Wi-Fi or your mobile phone plan, and you probably have a smartphone. I'm going to guess that anyone listening to me has all three of those. So those are three things you can be thankful for. You don't have anything else. You have life too. You're alive. You can listen to me talk. I, I haven't heard any dead people listen to this show. Point number two, topic here today, the Christmas episode, 12 things to give yourself as gifts. This year's Christmas. Number two, give yourself the gift of connection. You can accomplish more through relationships with others than you will ever be able to accomplish on your own. Now, that is not to say that you should not work on your own game and develop what you need to do. Most of what we talk about on this show is about what you need to do for yourself. But we also talk about relationships. We talk about making connections. We talk about getting out there and getting to know people. We have a course called People Skills, which is in a part of Work On Your Game University. The connections, meaning get to know other people, now get diverse uh, opinions, get other people to take a look at what you're doing. Get another a fresh set of eyes on anything that you're doing and who you are as a person so you can see where you may have some weaknesses, where you may have some areas for improvement that you may otherwise have ignored or just not noticed. The question you can ask yourself is what relationships or people do you need to get back in touch with? Man, who are some people that you've known in the past, but you haven't talked to them in a while? That relationship needs to be rekindled. You haven't messaged them. You haven't texted them. You haven't called them. They haven't heard from you. You haven't heard from them. You don't even know what's going on with that person, but you know how to reach them, but you just haven't done it. There's the law of inertia. Inertia has kept you from reaching out to that person. What relationships could help you right now if you were to reinvest in them? What relationships could help you if you were to initially invest in them right now? What kind of people do you need around you that can help you get from where you are right now to where you actually want to go? That is the gift of connection that you can give yourself and Maybe you've been depriving yourself up to this point. Now, we all know that in the year 2020 with COVID-19, a lot of us have been isolated, whether by choice or maybe you've been following the guidelines or depending on where you live. Maybe so many things are locked down. There's not really anywhere you can go to connect with other people. 
Get yourself the gift of connection. You can be creative with this. I mean, if you're smart enough to find this show and listen to it, you can understand what I'm saying. You're smart to figure out how you can at least start to rekindle some connections or create some new connections with some people who can help you get from where you are to where you're going and some people whom you can help get from where they are to where they're going. So if you can help them and they can help you, you got that symbiotic relationship, that's a win-win situation. So give yourself the gift of connection by connecting with the right type of people. Number three, today's episode. 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Give yourself the gift of time. Now, you already have time, time being your most valuable asset of the five forms of investment that we talked about in episode number 609. But if you're working, anytime that you're working, be at work. In other words, utilize that time for what that time is supposed to be for. So you said, I'm going to spend an hour working, spend an hour working, not 30 minutes working and 30 minutes bullshitting. If you're spending time with another person and you say, I'm going to spend time with this person, whether it's a significant other, whether it's a friend, whether it's your a child, spend time with that person. Be there, be present doing the thing that you're going to do. Make every second count for you. And when I say make every second count, that does not necessarily mean every second being in, quote, productivity, close quote. It means whatever amount of time you're going to spend doing the thing, do the thing. If you're going to spend an hour working out, work out for an hour. You spend an hour working, work. You spend an hour spending time with someone, spend time. You spend an hour giving focus and attention, give focus and attention. Do not be dividing your time up thinking that you can multitask. It is impossible for a human being to multitask. All you're actually doing is doing more than one thing at the same time and doing neither of them as well as you could be doing them if you would actually give your full time and attention to whatever it is you initially were supposed to be doing or told yourself you would be doing. Point number four topic today is 12 gifts to give yourself for Christmas. Give yourself the gift of receiving. The key to great giving is great receiving, gracious receiving. In other words, when someone wants to give to you and someone wants to help you out, allow them to do that. Don't deprive another person of the gift of being able to help you out and offer you something that you need. If there's something that you need and someone's willing to offer it to you and give it to you, accept it. See, the more that you try to push off someone trying to help you and someone trying to offer you something because you don't want to feel like you're uh, taking a handout, or you don't want to feel like someone's giving you something that you haven't earned it yourself, the more you push away from someone being able to give to you, that means you're depriving them of the, the pleasure of being able to give. You're depriving them of the pleasure of being able to give you something that could help you out because it came from, hopefully it came from their heart. They wanted to help you out. They saw a need. They helped fulfill the need or at least they were trying to help fulfill the need. But if you're pushing that away, then again, how is the energy of the universe going to respond to you? You're pushing away someone else's ability to feel like they were giving. Now, when you try to give to other people, what's the universe going to do in kind? It's going to respond by not allowing you to give. So if you find yourself pushing away from anyone trying to give to you, when you try to give, other people are going to push away from you. And you're going to find it really hard to get your knowledge, get your products, your services, your ideas, your whatever, your charity out to the world. You're going to find very few people willing to receive it from you simply because you were a person who hasn't been willing to receive from other people. So understand that even though many of us, if you're a type of person who listens to this show, you're type, probably the type of individual who wants to produce more than you consume. You want to give out more than you take in. But understand, one of the strongest keys to being a great giver is also to be a very gracious receiver. Meaning when someone wants to give to you, they have something they want to offer you, they feel like they can help you out, and you know they can help you out. All right, don't block the blessing of someone helping you out by uh, being a poor recipient. Now, I understand that it may hurt, maybe hurt your pride a little bit to receive something because you didn't get it yourself, or you didn't do it yourself, or you didn't earn it yourself. But understand, what did I just tell you in the fourth point or the third point about relationships and connections? You can get a lot more done through other people and with other people than you will ever get done by yourself. And if you look around at the most successful people that you know of, the people that you look at as successful, the people who have things that you want, look at them. Are they doing everything by themselves? Do they do everything on their own? If you dig into their story, you'll probably find that they absolutely did not do everything on their own. They don't do everything by themselves. Maybe they're the headliner. Maybe they're the one that everybody knows about, but they don't do everything on their own. They have received from other people, maybe in ways that you don't know about, but I guarantee you they have received and has been part of them creating their success is their willingness to receive also creates their ability to give. So if you've been finding it hard to give to other people or maybe find it hard to find people who are willing to take in what you're giving, maybe because you're blocking those Blocking that energy by being a very poor receiver. Work on your receiving game. Key to great giving 
is gracious receiving. The best givers are also great receivers. Point number five, topic today is 12 gifts to give yourself for Christmas this year. Give yourself the gift of laughter. There's a study that I read that said children laugh on average between 300 and 490 times per day. 300 to 490 times per day, children laugh. Let's say children around the age of five. While adults laugh only 17 times per day. I've even read one, that, one study that said adults laugh only four times per day. So let me ask you a question. Any adults listening to this? How many times today have you laughed? There you go. How many times did you laugh yesterday? How many times have you laughed in the last 24 hours? Now, if you have kids or there are kids around you right now, how often do they laugh? So the study is, is fairly, is in the right direction. I don't know about these numbers. I, I don't know how to even study this, but it's in the right direction. Kids laugh a whole lot more than adults do. I don't know the science, but what I would guess is that laughter will help you feel better. I think everybody feels better when they're laughing and it'll probably help you live longer because the longer you feel better and the more often you feel better, probably the longer you're giving your, your subconscious and you're giving the universe a reason to keep you alive because you feel like you should be here. You feel like you got something to do. Laughter is a gift that you need to give yourself. So whether that means you need to queue up some comedy on YouTube or Netflix, or you need to remember something funny and laugh about it, or just remind yourself and not stop taking yourself and your life so goddamn seriously, whatever you need to do to laugh. Laughter loosens you up. It helps you feel better. You'll probably be more you know, efficient and happier and more positive in doing the things that you need to do, even if they're not you know, necessarily funny things to be doing. I think it'll help your life in a lot of ways if you just laugh a little bit more. Go back to being a kid. Maybe you can't laugh 300 to 490 times a day. You can get past 17. All right? You can get past four times a day. I think anybody can do that. So give yourself the gift of laughter. Point number six. Topic here today is 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Number six, mental space. In other words, take some time for yourself that is not on anyone else's agenda. Many of us spend our entire days working on other people's agenda. When you check your text messages, you are working on somebody else's agenda. When you check your email, you're looking at someone else's agenda. Someone else is sending you something that they're thinking or that they want or that they need or that they need to say. And they're putting it on your calendar for you to deal with. Well, it's not actually on your calendar, but when you open that text message or you look at your notifications or you go to your, your DMs or you go to your inbox, you are, you're putting it on the calendar yourself. You're putting someone else's agenda on your calendar. There's nothing wrong with that because sometimes dealing with other people's agenda is how we make our money. However, you still need to give yourself some mental space, some time for you that is not for anyone else. Some time when you're not checking your phone or turn off the notifications on your phone. That'd be a good start. Or some time where you're just like, you know what, I don't want anybody to contact me or I'm not responding to anybody contacting me because this is time for me. And this is not something that you need to give yourself as a gift just one time, like going on a little three day vacation and then spend the whole next year, the whole 2021, working on balls to, wall, balls to the wall on somebody else's agenda the entire 365 days. This is something you need to be doing on a consistent basis, giving yourself time for you. Mental space that is only for you and not for anyone else. The more of this you can do more consistently, the better you will be when it's time for you to give time to other people. Point number seven. Today's topic, 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Give yourself the gift of elimination. In other words, get rid of things that are cluttering your life. There are many things that are cluttering your life right now and you're completely aware that they're cluttering your life, but for whatever reason, you haven't gotten rid of them. Because of inertia, you're just leaving them there because they're not causing you so much damage that you haven't, that you haven't been moved to action to do something about them. But understand something. Things that are taking up space in your life, whether they are people, ideas, habits, or physical objects, if they're taking up space and not serving a purpose, they are blocking you in some way. Maybe just emotionally, maybe just spiritually, maybe psychically, if not physically, but they are blocking you in a way. And if you don't get rid of them, those things will continue to block you until or unless you do something about them. So the things that you stop noticing, then what I'm going to challenge you to do, this is the gift you're going to give yourself, is to become conscious of the things that are cluttering your life. They're not doing anything for you, but they're still sitting there taking up space, but they're not serving any way and they're not serving in any way, shape or form. Get rid of them. Give them the goodwill. Now you're benefiting someone else who could actually use them or someone who would actually want them. You've cleared that space, whether it's physically, whether it's a person, you get rid of that individual, whether it's a habit or an idea or an energy, you get rid of those things and you create a vacuum. And in that vacuum, now you can get more of the things that you want. You can get more of that receiving energy coming in, but you can't receive anything if your life is cluttered and full of things that you don't even want in your space in the first place. 
So things are taking up psychic space in your life, even if you don't notice them, or even if they're not taking up physical space, they take up psychic space. And if that psychic space is full, there is no space. There's no uh, container with which you can receive. You don't have an empty container to receive. You will receive nothing simply because there's nowhere for it to go. So get rid of things that are taking up space. That's the elimination. Number eight topic here today is 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Give yourself the gift of individuality. Now, this is a gift that you were given at birth, but through the world that we are in now, where we see certain things that get rewarded, and as humans being the sheep that we all are on some level as human beings, we start following the things that we see getting rewarded, and little by little, we whittle ourselves down to the point that we are no longer an individual. We're just a carbon copy of someone else, a cheap copy at that, but a copy. Recapture your individuality. Get reacquainted with your individuality if need be. The world has pushed many of us to conform and to be like everyone else or to be like everything that we see. And the more you're being like other people, the less you're being yourself, the less valuable you are. Because the most valuable thing that you own, the only valuable thing that you own, if we strip everything else away, is your individuality as a person. That's the one thing that can't be copied. Somebody can copy your quotes. They can copy your, or at least make a cheap imitation of your process. They can try to say things that you say. They can wear the same clothes that you wear. They can try to do the same job that you do. Nobody can beat you at being yourself. This is the one thing that you actually own of everything. Remember that you are a one of one, but if you are acting like one of many, then you have lost your individuality. My gift to you is to gift yourself of that individuality all over again. Point number nine topic today is 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Give yourself the gift of health. Health is wealth. When your body fails, your physical health fails, the game is over. The entire game. Whatever game you're in, that game's done as soon as your health isn't working anymore. So start taking care of yourself physically and making it a priority to take care of yourself. Don't be somebody wishing that you had taken care of yourself physically back when you had a chance to 10 years from now, 20, 30 years from now, when you can't even move, can't go to the bathroom by yourself or feed yourself. And now it doesn't even matter what you've accumulated or what you've done because you can't do anything with it because your health has failed you. So make sure you are prioritizing your physical health. I know it's not something that gets it's not something that gets promoted so much in our world today, especially in the worlds that. I notice and pay attention to everybody's chasing productivity and achieving the next thing and doing the next thing and showing off what they got and what they've done. But understand without your health, it doesn't matter what you have, what you've done or what you've achieved because you won't be able to do anything with it. You won't even be able to tell anybody about it because you're in poor health. Point number 10 topic today, 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Give yourself the gift of free will, meaning you do have the ability to choose who you're going to be in this life. Like we talk about in the book, The Mirror of Motivation, which you can get for free at mirrorofmotivation.com. It's covered in shipping. Free will means you remembering that you do have the ability to choose who you're going to be. You have the ability to choose what you're going to do with yourself, with your physical self, with your life, with the time, with this opportunity that you have, this limited time opportunity that you have here on this planet called life. How are you going to exercise that free will? What are you going to do with that free will to make it work for you? What have you been doing to this point? What changes maybe do you need to make? Point number 11 topic today is 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Number 11, give yourself the gift of doing what you want to do. Ask yourself, how much time do you spend every day doing things that you feel like you have to do or things that other people are asking you to do? How much time do you spend working other people's agendas as opposed to working your own agenda. Now, understand that some of the time you spend working other people's agenda may be necessary to sustain you. Maybe it's part of your job. Maybe that's what your business is, doing things to serve other people. But is all of your time about serving other people? How much time are you giving to yourself? Like We talked about this in like three different points already. I don't think all of your time is based on serving other people. I don't, and I mean, even when I say other people, I'm, not, I'm talking about even your kids, your significant other. How much time is going just to you? I'm just hypothesizing, but I think you know that not 100% of your time can be going to other people because if you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of others? It's like they say on the plane. If your face mask isn't on, you're going to run out of oxygen before you can help grandpa or help the person next to you or help anybody else. So how much time are you spending doing things that you actually want to do in your life? And if you don't have any of that factored into your schedule or into your plans for 2021, maybe you should... Think about doing that right now since we haven't gotten to that new year just yet. And point number 12, today's topic, 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas, prioritizing yourself. You have only one life to live, believe it or not. And when the time runs out on this one that you have, that's it. It's over. It's done. 
So if you are not valuing this truth of having only one life, and you're not valuing it by prioritizing yourself, let me tell you a secret. Nobody else is going to prioritize it. Now, other people will prioritize using you and using your time to serve out their agenda. Not because they're takers, not because they're trying to be bad people, but because you are setting yourself up for them. You're setting yourself up for other people to use you for their agenda. They're going to do it. This is just human nature. You do it to other people when they don't prioritize themselves. They're going to do it to you when you don't prioritize yourself. So I'm telling you to give yourself the gift of prioritizing you. Try putting yourself first more often. Why? Not for necessarily selfish reasons, but it can be kind of, kind of it is selfish because the more you're able to help yourself by prioritizing you, the better you will be when it's time to prioritize another person. When it's time to help other people out, the better you've taken care of you, the better you will be to help take care of somebody else. But if you're not taken care of, what can you do for another person? Not much. Let's recap today's class, which is 12 gifts to give yourself this year for Christmas. Number one, the gift of thankfulness. All right, you have things to be thankful for. The more you are thankful for, the more things you will have to be thankful for. Number two, connection. You can accomplish more through other people than you ever will on your own. Ask yourself what relationships you need to get back in touch with and or create. Number three, time is your most valuable asset. So whenever you're spending time doing something, spend your time doing that thing. Be fully focused. Do not divide your time. It is impossible for humans to do it. They think they're doing it. They're actually failing at it. Number four, receiving. The key to great giving is gracious receiving. Allow people to give to you. Allow people to help you. You don't have to do everything by yourself. It is impossible for you to do it anyway. The best givers are also the best receivers. Number five, laughter. A study says children laugh between 300 and 490 times a day, while adults laugh somewhere between four and 17 times a day. I don't know the science behind it, but I guess you will feel better and live a lot longer if you laugh more often. Find something funny and laugh at it. Look up comedy online if you need to. Number six, mental space. Take some time for yourself that is not on anyone else's agenda. You need that space where you're not looking at your device. And your device, in case you didn't know, is full of other people's agendas. Get off your device. Get off of any electronics and just give some mental space to yourself just to be you. Number seven, elimination. Get rid of things that are cluttering your life. Some of them you're aware of. Some of them are taking up space and you stop noticing, but they're taking up psychic space either way. When you get rid of them, now you have created a vacuum in your life in which you can receive the things that you actually want. If you're not getting more of what you want right now in life, it's because you don't have any available space for anything else to come in. You got to get rid of things that are cluttering your life. People, places, ideas, habits, physical objects. Number eight, your individuality. Recapture it, get acquainted with it again. The world pushes many of us to conform and be like everybody else, but remember that you are a one of one. The most valuable thing and the only thing you actually own in this life is your individuality. Recapture it. Number nine, health. Health is wealth, as they say. So when your body fails, the game is over. Take care of yourself and make it a priority. Do not be a person wishing that you had taken care of yourself back when you had a chance to, when you get to a point that you can't do it anymore. Number 10, free will. You do have the ability to choose who you will be in this life. And sometimes we forget about that, but that ability is there. Start exercising it more often. Number 11, doing what you want to do. How much time do you spend every day doing what you feel like you have to do? Now, while I understand some of it may be necessary for your sustenance, but probably not all of it. I'm just hypothesizing, but you know better than I do. And number 12, prioritizing yourself. You have only one life to live. If you are not valuing this truth by prioritizing you, Understand that nobody else is going to prioritize you. They will, prior they will use you to prioritize themselves. Try putting yourself first more often. It will help you help yourself, and it will also make you better when it's time for you to give to other people. And the more you can give, the more you'll be set up to receive. Merry Christmas and peace, peace unto men. <laughs> Work on your game. Dre, all.